Hi guys, Ramzan here. Here in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a testimonial slider into your Shopify store. I will show you step by step that how you can follow the documentation along with the video and just need to copy and paste the things and that's it. So the first thing is that you should uh, go to the dashboard of the Shopify store. Here you can see that I have installed down theme. If you have any other theme, then still you can do the steps. If you are facing any problem, then you can connect me. I will definitely help you out in that. Firstly, you should click on these three dots, click on edit code and here we have some folders and files let's go to the documentation here we have the documentation i will be adding the link below in the description maybe i will be writing a blog post also the first step is like create a new section and name it testimonials so let's create a new section click on sections click on add a new section and paste the name of that section and click on done so here you will be finding some code you should delete this code and then after you should uh, copy the content of section multicolumn.liquid actually there is another section which is multi column so here you can see that under section we have multi column dot liquid so we need to copy this complete uh, code and paste it right here and then click on save and you should close this uh, multi column dot liquid another step is create a new css file in assets and name it section dash testimonials so we are going to create a new css file here go to assets and here you can see that we have add a new asset click on it and click on create a blank file paste the name of that file and click on done then after you should go again and copy the css code from assets section dash call multi column dot css so again we need to search here multi column so here you can see that we have section dash multi column dot css you need to copy this complete uh, code from here and paste it inside section dash testimonials dot css and then click on save and you should close this file which is section dash multi column dot css the next step is include section testimonials dot css into testimonial dot liquid so how we can include here is the testimonial dot liquid so you can see the first line you just copy and paste uh, that line and right here testimonials dot css so actually we have section dash testimonials dot css so that file is included now another step is add below css code in testimonials dot liquid so you need to copy this complete code from here and then paste it just below this included files so here we have pasted that new code and next step is add a class here, here is the class name custom dash testimonial dash slider in the parent div so which one is the parent div actually this is the parent div so we are going to paste the class name here firstly copy this class name and then paste it right here so you can see that we have pasted this class name right here another step is go to ul tag and add class this one so this class we are going to add in ul tag so here you can see that we have slider component and just below it we have ul tag and inside of it we have a class just in the beginning you should paste this slider dash everywhere and then after you should go again and replace below code with testimonials labels in json settings so actually these are few labels which we are going to replace it with testimonials just copy this testimonials and scroll it down and in the bottom you can see we have this line which we are going to replace which is actually the preset name and another thing is like uh, this one the block name you should replace it with testimonials and the next thing is this name of the section testimonials and here we have multi column you should replace it with testimonials and another thing is this one so we are going to put it testimonials and that's it next section is remove below code which is view more code so actually this is the code which we have to remove from the bottom of this file so just above the schema you can see that we have end slider component tag and just below it we have a div we are going to remove this div so i have removed actually this was the read more option for the multi column section but now we are not interested to keep this one another step is you should add below code just inside the div tag of this class name actually there is a class which we have here just use control f or maybe command f and then you will be finding this kind of uh, div element so actually we are going to remove some code from inside of this div element so actually we have 
this element we we are going to remove it and replace it with this one copy this and paste it right here and then next step is go to slider dash buttons so copy this actually slider dash buttons and replace medium dash hide with this complete line so let's find slider dash buttons use control f or maybe command f so here you can see that we have this div element so we are going to replace this medium dash hide with this line of code so you can see that we have replaced it and then the next step is paste below code in the bottom of section dash testimonials dot css so actually we are going to copy this complete code from here to this one and paste it inside of this section dash testimonials dot css so you should scroll at the bottom and then paste that css code and then the eighth step is that add below json settings above the block so actually we have this complete json which we are going to copy and we need to paste it in the schema so once you are scrolling it down you can see that this is preset just scroll little bit up and you can see which we have block and just above it we can see this uh, uh, square bracket and above it we have curly brace just put a comma and then press enter and then paste that uh, complete json and that's it you can save it now and you can also save this cha these changes also so both these files are saved so you should go to the dashboard of the store again click on customize and here is the home page you can put this section on any other page also but we are going to test it on home page so here you can see that we have add section scroll it down and here you can see testimonials click on it and right here you can see some columns appearing and we are going to add some more columns here and let's add some images click on any of the column and select any specific image from here so these are testimonials images so once you pasted all the uh, images then you can actually click on testimonials and do some settings from here you can change the title uh, like for example I have testimonials so you can also write here like uh, customer reviews you can also see like, uh, write it like this and you can also write here like full width of column you can make it one third width of column and you can add here adopt to image circular put the column alignment to center and this is pretty beautiful and then after we have show as column background you can change the background we have button labels we have a button link right now we don't need uh, all this stuff and then after we have section background you can see that we have the background color appearing you can change the background color to any other we have testimonials background these are white right now you can change it to any other then we have title so this title text and then uh, we have arrow color so right now the arrows are not appearing because we have not enabled it so here you should click on this checkbox and arrows are appearing now so you can change the background color of these arrows also so for example red so it will automatically be red so you can also change the color of this arrow so here you can see that this is looking black you can make it white because this is more beautiful so in the same way you can actually change the section background i already mentioned you for example like this but for now we are not interested to keep it like this we are interested to make it like all right then after you can uh, click on column and here you can see that we have for example we uh, we can write here natalia so you can change the name to any other name and we have also the link so you can write here like shop now you can connect a specific product to any of the customer review because in that way you can actually present your customers that this specific product has been sold to this guy so in the same way the shop now button will redirect to that specific product so again for example coming to this one
so i have linked all the products to all other uh, reviews so you can also do like that if you want otherwise you can leave it as it is then after you can click on save the changes and let's see its preview on the home page you can scroll it down and here we go if you will see its mobile view you can see something like this so here you can see that we have button label so actually we have to remove button label from here here you can see button label you can remove it from here and it automatically be hided from here so you will no more able to see that button label here i hope that this feature has added some value to your store so definitely you can implement it into your store so in that way you can attract more customers because uh, this is how people are adding uh, premium features on their stores all right so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please like this video also subscribe this channel thank you once again see you in the next video